For our hands-on exercise number nine, a callback is when we pass a funk into a funk as an argument. So passing a funk into a funk as an argument, that's a callback. For this exercise, uh, pass a funk into a funk as an argument. So just see if you could work out some example where you pass a funk into another funk as an argument. And, uh, and once you've worked that out, um, you know, uh, come back here, unpause the video <laughs> and uh, watch my solution. I was like having a hard time saying that, I think, because I was processing when to share this with you. And I was just kind of Googled like how other people describe callbacks. And here's a Stack Overflow post, which you could pause the video and read this. But I thought that was kind of interesting. And I'll scroll it down a little bit so you could read it all. But anyhow, that's Stack Overflow, and there's the source if you want to check it out. All right, so now we're going to create a callback a funk, which takes a funk as an argument. So foo is going to take a function, right? And let's say this function returns an int, and it takes in a slice of, uh, slice of int. And then foo will, I don't know, return an int. And so we got a lot going on there. That's kind of wacky looking. And here's foo, and here's foo's parameter. And foo's parameter is to take this type, that is a type, and it's going to assign it to this variable, and then foo's going to run and return an int. I have no idea what we're building here. And so I'm going to execute f, and that's going to give me back, uh, that's going to give me back an int. And then I could just, I don't know, I'll, I'll assign that to a variable, and I'll call this uh, n colon equal, and then uh, n plus plus, and I'll return n. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what that looks like. And so now I need to call this and I need to pass a function into it. And so I will call foo and I need to pass some function in there. And to do that, I will create that function first. And so I'll just build off of this, put that right there and assign this to g, I guess is a good variable, colon equals func and all of that and then code and, uh, and then we're assigning that to g and so g will take in a slice of int and uh, returns an int. And so what we want it to do in here with the slice of int is, I guess, um, we will take for xi for uh, index, we don't need, value, colon equal, range, and um, xi. I'm just kind of thinking this out as we do it. and. I'll do uh, for index colon equals zero, and that needs to be a zero, not an O. Index colon equals zero, and then I is less than the length of xi, that slice, and then I plus plus. And uh, actually an easier way to do this, I'm going to do if I is less than if length of xi is less than is equal to zero. There we go, this is better. Return one, return zero. If length xi is equal to 1, return xi at position 0. So we'll return that value at position 0. And uh, otherwise, it will return xi at position 0 plus, it'll add the first and last numbers. And the last number here if we had a uh, four items in our four items, we'd have zero, one, two, z zero, one, two, three, index position three, right? If we had four items, so length of x minus one. So that would be if length is four, zero, one, two, three, right? We have four, and we subtract one, that gives us index position three, zero, one, two, three. So we'll take the first item and the last item and add them together. If there's no items, it returns zero. If there's just one item, it returns that first item. Otherwise, if it had two items, it'd be two minus one, 
that gives us at position one and position zero or was 10 items, whatever. So that's kind of cool. It returns the addition of the first and last item. And then we're going to pass this into here, G. And when we pass G in, we also need to pass in with G. We're passing in G. What else do we need to pass in with G? Do we need to pass in the, the value? So the slice event, we pass that in with it, or do we need that inside foo? So inside foo, we call it right here. So we're just gonna pass in G, and then we call it right here. So also with foo, we're gonna pass in a slice of int. Cool, and so now we'll pass in with foo, a slice of int. That's good, and we have that slice of int, and now we'll call g, which takes a slice of int, right here, right? Or call f, it's now f, and it takes a slice of int, and that returns it. And when that returns, that's gonna return a value, so we wanna assign that to something, and we'll make that x. And this code got a little bit crazy, but it's kind of interesting. And now we're gonna format it and run it. Undefined x, x colon equal, uh, foo should return an int when I call it. So foo takes in g and a slice of int. Foo takes in that right there, uh, which is g, because that's what that is. And then it takes in a slice of int. So we gave it a slice of int. And then we call that function by passing in this, which is that slice of int right here. And when we call that, that should return either zero or the values, it should return one and five, should return six, and uh, and then add one to it and return that. And that should return that and assign right there, and then print it out, we have X. So undefined X on line 16, return XI length XI. There we go. See, variable naming, seven. So five plus one is six, Add one to that is seven. Kind of interesting. And if we change this and run it, it's now six and one plus one, six and one is seven plus one is eight. Return that and then it prints. Huh, fascinating. So the main point of this is to pass a function in as an argument. And I think we accomplished that, though it's a little bit complex. It's also kind of an interesting exercise and uh, you saw kind of finding me finding my way around that code, which I think is always instructive just to kind of look and think things through and kind of think about, okay, what kind of an example am I going to put together? So as an instructor, I always have a little bit of hesitation because you want to look like, hey, I know what I'm doing. I'm spot on. But at the same time, I think it's really valuable to share. Um, just like finding your way to a solution and how I think that through. So I hope that was helpful to you also. <laughs> All right. See you in the next video.